Welcome back to the channel everybody, this is another episode of Fate and as you already know, I do different stuff on this series of videos about trucks specifically, problems that are more, uh, they require more attention if you wanna contact me, ask me anything or uh, set something up uh, you can go to Instagram, look for Francisco Maya YouTube, follow me there and you know what to do next today I have this 2014 Pedal Bill with a Cummins ISX engine the problem this Cummins ISX engine is having is then it's asking for region very often uh, the life for region comes and you have to stop with the region manually uh, which means that the region is not happening while the vehicle is in, moment, in motion so you have to stop to actually press the switch of the region and do it manually so today I'm going to talk about that problem what are the possible causes of that problem and how you are going to notice what is the problem so uh, this is going to affect all Cummins ISX engine, no matter the year, I mean um, from 2008 and up uh, with the DPF uh, system um, up to the year 2019, then the newer uh, X15 Cummins came, which is a little different, but the basic is the same. But it's going to affect to all these Cummins ISX because they use very similar uh, technologies. And uh, it doesn't matter what type of body it is on, they have the same DPF system just in a different shape. So, the situation that is happening, as I said before, is that this truck is asking for region. As you can hear, the engine at the moment is doing region because I've been uh, doing a region. And Cummins ISX engine regions, they take forever to get done, specifically when they have high levels of contamination. So, um, the uh, reason why I'm doing the reading is because I'm trying to find out where the, f the fault is. So, when this problem happens, you have to look for many different things. You have to look for low uh, dosing to the DPF system, which means that it's like low fuel and it's being delivered to the fuel system, I mean to the DPF system, for leaks around the tubes and for leaks in the DPF pipes, I mean the DPF, DPF filter or DOCs. Also, obstruction in the uh, delta pressure sensor of the DPF can cause this problem as well without the computer noticing because uh, if the pressure stays high all the time, it will actually uh, cause this uh, region often. But in this case, the common cause is the one I'm going to tell you right now. It, it doesn't mean that this is going to be the uh, problem for your truck because you before that you have to inspect how the region is working and where the problem is. You have to physically go outside and check for leaks and everything. You have to physically remove the uh, doser injector and see if there is no problems or you have to physically check the temperatures of the uh, DPF to see if the fuel delivery to the system is very weak. So uh, that's the way you wanna notice where the problem is. But if everything is okay, the cause of this problem is the DPS, the DPF, the DPF filter. So what do I mean by that? You can remove the DPF filter and you can take it to a place get it cleaned up and you can put it back supposedly it's clean and then you put it on and you go on a trip and it's still asking you the same thing that means that the DPF filter has to be replaced why because the DPF filter on these Cummins ISX that is the problem they get bad over the time specifically when they have coolant or oil consumption they go bad so you have to replace it entirely you don't have just to clean it and when you replace the DPF you have to replace the DOC which is the one in front so for that I'm going to show you some details here on the computer so that way you can understand what I mean so over here the reading is on process and I have all this data over here the one I'm monitoring to see how this is working so we have here the intake for the DOC, which is a nice temperature, it's good temperature. We have the outlet for the DOC, which is a good temperature too, that means that the DOC is working perfectly. It is sending the uh, temperature correctly. We have here 
the outlet for the DOC for the DPF which is good temperature to it is within range so that way you can see that the problem doesn't consist in these temperatures because the temperatures are good I can see in the region is getting done properly the problem is right here on this lecture over here the upper treatment uh, this is a particular filter differential pressure the problem is right here you see this one stays at 1.02 and doesn't go lower than that there is something that is getting uh, thing is not it's not getting burned and that's one of the reasons why the region takes forever to get finished because never goes down when it started when the region started it started to uh, on this temperature uh, i mean on this pressure on point 28 that was the time uh, the pressure and then increased a little see now it went down but it's going up and this is the maximum over here so it stays up all the time so this means then the DPF filter is getting an obstruction. You can think that the pressure is pretty low because the truck can have more pressure, but keep in mind that the truck is not in motion. The truck is not with a lot. The truck is not having any problems right now. I mean, like any kind of uh, pressure. So when the vehicle is in, in movement, in motion, and then you have a heavy load, that pressure is going to increase way more than that so when increase way more than that the computer will realize that the filter is dirty and when the filter is dirty you need to do a region right so that's why it's asking you for a region over and over and over and over and you can do that you can go take the filter to clean it you can do so many things and still you won't fix that problem because replacing the filter will be the solution as i said at the beginning that doesn't mean it is the only a problem you have to inspect everything temperatures fuel delivery leaks around to actually um, the, uh, check i mean to actually know what is going to be the problem on this truck um, one of the things you have to know is that this dpf filter is very expensive probably around like 3,000 bucks just for the filter and if you replace the DOC it's going to be around 5,000 bucks both of them together both of them together plus the cores if the cores are not good you have to pay way more than that and uh, that will be uh, the uh, the way to fix it after this I mean you will see in the region will not be on again because the, the computer will realize that everything is working perfectly this pressure right here will be low and, uh, and once the pressure is low the computer will just work normally uh, that will be uh, the complete solution of this and there is no specific code see I don't know if someone delivered the code before but there is no code over here see there is no code any code I don't know if before the truck got here someone delivered the codes or something but at the moment there is no code and usually that's how it happens there is no code probably there is one code that will pop if the region happens too often that will be that code then says region too often that's what it says or region too frequently or something like that it will say that and uh, that means then you have problems with the DPF uh, and uh, as I say you have to notice if you have a coolant consumption and, and oil consumption if you have that you have to fix that freeze and then replace the dpf filters because if you replace the dpf filters and the doc filters and you don't fix the leak uh i mean the consumption of the uh, of the engine any uh, coolant or oil the problem will come back because it will damage your DPF and your uh, and your DOC filter again and this can also damage your SCR box as well I mean your SCR filter because in this case is a filter so uh, that's why you have to uh, pay attention closely to that so those are the ways how you want to fix this problem uh, I guess it is just a gen uh, general talk about it I mean I, I don't I can go more into details but it's gonna be repeating myself into that uh, I can just 
I mean, it, straight to the point, you just replace the DPF filter and that will solve the problem. It will vary depending on what the problem is, so that's why you have to check everything before, make sure that everything is in the correct uh, uh, readings, and that then you have to do that, the replacing the filter. Mostly, mostly, if this is the problem, when the region is uh, being asked over and over, the DPF and the DOC are the problem. That's that's very common to see on coming side sex, but that doesn't mean thing will happen to you. So that's why you have to check everything before replacing things. But I guess that will be all right now about the region on this coming side sex. Um, if uh, there is something left, something that I didn't mention, you can use the comment uh, the comment section below where you can leave details or uh, anything else or questions about. Anything that I didn't mention on this video, so I, that, that's the way I can come, uh, answer it to you. Or if you know about the questions or more details about this problem, you can use the comment section below as well. That way you can share information and answer some questions that other people have about this. Uh, probably information that I didn't share with you on this video. Uh, any ideas, any experiences or anything else to add, you can also use the comment section below. There you can uh, share anything, you know, that is very important, so that, that that's the way to help each other to know more about these machines. And uh, if you want to send some kind of support to my channel, you can use the description of this video where I have details how to send support to my channel, so I can continue making helpful videos for everybody um, on these machines, uh, so you guys can learn more about it, or at least to understand how these problems are or how to save some money to yourself instead of spending money here and there without knowing the solution to the problem. Uh, um, if yeah, you like the video make sure to like to hit that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, it's very important, share it so other people that doesn't know where to find this information can uh, are able to find it too. And uh, thank you for watching. Dude, it's hot as balls in here, bro. That's how, how long? It's a sauna up in here, bro. Like how long? 12 how long minutes. Huh? Like 12 minutes.